The assessment for this module is split up into multiple assignments. In total, we'll have five assignments that are all coding-based problems. The very first assignment will help you get set up with Julia. The assignments for this module will be done via GitHub Classroom. Some of you may not have used GitHub Classroom before, but it's very similar to GitHub. If you've used GitHub before, you should be very comfortable with GitHub Classroom. For those of you who aren't comfortable with GitHub, I have a video available online to help you get set up with the basics. So what GitHub Classroom lets you do is get template code to help start assignments. So every week I will send around a link to an assignment. And when you click the link, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this. And what you'll have to do is log in with your GitHub account and you can accept the assignment. Once you click accept, a repository or a folder will be created for you that you have access to with your account. And when you make any changes to that code and upload it online, I will be able to see those changes as well. And that's how you submit your code. So we'll take a look at the repository that you'll get for the first week. So a repository is just a collection of folders and files, and it's just specific terminology for, for Git. The readme will contain information about the assignment and give you the task of what you need to do to complete the assignment. So for this problem, there is a source code file given and you need to implement one of the algorithms there. If we quickly go into this file and source and then collapse.jl, you can see that there are some functions with to-do comments inside. And the aim of the assignment is to implement these functions to return the expected answers. The way that these assignments are marked is through unit tests. So some of you may not have seen these before, but this is essentially just some code that will run your code to make sure that expected inputs when passed through your function will give the expected outputs. And this will be automatically run to determine whether you pass the tests. You also have access to these tests. So you can make sure that your implementation passes for each week. Once you have finished doing your implementation, you need to make sure that the changes are uploaded online. If you can see your changes through the GitHub website, then you will have submitted your code. Again, we'll learn more about this later on in the course. If you are not doing the MPAGS module and you have not received a link to GitHub Classroom, you can still follow the assignments anyway. So what I have done is made all of the assignments publicly available as templates. And on GitHub, you should be able to see this button that says use this template and you can click create in a new repository. If I click this now, you can see that we're greeted with a form. And what we want to do is create a repository under your own user. And you would give this repository a name like HPC in Julia assignment one. You can give it a description. You can make it public or private. It's up to you. And once you click create repository, it will take a few seconds, but it will take the template code and give it to you as a starting point. Now this is your repository that you control and you can do anything you want with this code. Again, you'll still have the readme that you'll follow for the instructions, but I'll very quickly show you how you can get this code and get set up and running with it locally. So in order to get the code from GitHub, you want to use this button here and you'll have a few options for cloning it onto your local computer. So the way GitHub works is you have a remote repository. So this is GitHub, which is like a backup stored version of your code. It's also tends to be the, the main master copy of your code. And the cloned version is a local copy that's independent, but you can sync changes between them uh, fairly easily. So if you want to clone this repository down, you probably want to get uh, the link to this repository. If you're using uh, GitHub uh, or Git in the terminal, you can download this with a git clone command uh, and paste the HTTPS link to this repository. However, an easier way is to use GitHub Desktop. Now, GitHub Desktop is available for Mac and Windows, and it is just a a visual client that you can use to use Git, which makes your life a little bit easier. If I open GitHub Desktop here and make it a bit bigger, I'll show you how you can get a new repository here. So the first thing you want to do is go to File, 
clone repository. And if you're signed in already, you should be able to just search for your repository here. And you can search for a path to put the folder in. However, if you already have the URL, you can just copy and paste the URL in here and click clone. This will copy the folder across. And if you go to uh, repository show in Explorer, this might be slightly different on Mac or, or Linux, you should be able to see all of the files in here. Another useful command, if you go to repository and then open in Visual Studio Code, you can open this project directly in your code editor. If you don't see open in Visual Studio Code, you can configure GitHub to use Visual Studio Code as your default editor. If you go to File, Options, and Integrations, there is an option for External Editor, and you want to select Visual Studio Code from the list. If you don't see this option, you may need to reinstall Visual Studio Code on your machine. So let's open in Visual Studio Code, and you'll be greeted with this option. Yes, you trust the authors. We'll make it a bit bigger. And now you have access to the source code that you can change. So for example, if I get rid of this comment, I'll make a change. And back in GitHub Desktop, it will know that I've made a change by removing the comment and adding a, a blank line. Once you're finished with your implementation, what you can do is put a message here, like finished. Click the button in the bottom left hand side, commit to main. So this will save the changes locally and then you want to click this button here which pushes your changes up to github now if i am to open github and refresh you can see all of these say four minutes ago now if i click refresh you can see that this is updated to now and if i open this file you can see that the comment is no longer there on line 15. we'll go into this process in more detail later on in the week Later in the week, when we've learned more about how Julia works and we've got it set up on your system, I will show you how to run this assignment. This module will be pass or fail. If you attempt all of the assignments in this module and pass at least four assignments, then you will pass this course. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll talk about some computing fundamentals and we'll build a mental model of everything that you will need to be able to effectively optimize your code.